I'm Vinny Stigma from Agnostic Front. I'm here with Dr. Martin at the festival. We're having a great time. Well, I tell you right now, culturally, it deserves it. I mean, you know, there is a culture there. Uh, I mean, it's great music. Uh, we're finally, you know, becoming filmmakers, doctors, lawyers. We need all the doctors, lawyers, and filmmakers we could get. Got enough musicians around here. It's really something else, man. It makes you laugh. It makes you cry. It makes you like, you know, get them all. It's like my friend Al Waugh from Dropkick Murphy says, "I'm Vinny. I had to stop watching it. I was getting too emotional." Whether people like it or not, they need to see what it's about, because there's nothing like it. You know, it's just like, I feel like you're spoiled, especially yeah, I am, because like, coming from the hardcore scene, you go to see any other show, and you see nice shows, yeah. light shows, or anything, yeah. but there's nothing like a hardcore show. You know, so like the world needs to see that. They need to see the energy. A lot of people think it's negative, but it's really not. Absolutely. Working on a new album right now, Mikey Gaz. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we, every day, I mean, we always writing songs and, um, you know, we're just, you know, Roger just put a book out, which is amazing, you know, and then eventually the movie will come out. Right. And then, you know, show the album after to follow that. it up, you know. I think we finally know how to write a, uh, an album now after all these years. Try, still trying. Yeah. Agnostic Front was the first tattooed skinhead hardcore band. I know, I remember like going to the shows and just being like, wow, seeing all these crazy guys tattooed and it just, it gave it that, that gritty look, you know? And, um, and nowadays it's a little, yeah. everyone's tattooed, but well, you know, years it ago, goes hand in hand. Years ago, a, t a tattoo artist wouldn't tattoo your hands or your face or your neck if you were not tattooed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they, they tattoo your hands first, these guys, the people, it's like, how's that? It's a business thing. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I know. I own New York hardcore tattoos, so, you know, I know how that goes. But um, I'm still the old school. I still call it a tattoo parlor. Yes, I, I, I tattooed in my kitchen. Well, that was like really the first New York hardcore tattoo shop. And I always said to myself, one day, I'm going to make a real tattoo shop. And a bunch of years later, I opened up New York hardcore tattoos on Stanton Street, you know, on the Lower East Side. That's how it went down. And I was all fun, friends playing music, my mom cooking food, you know. You know, eating and get tattooed and listening to Oi. It's a lot of fun. Forty-five years ago, I got tattooed. When uh, it was a little different time. I was 18 when I got my first Oh yeah? Tattoo. Yeah. It's like when you were legally allowed. I mean, I'm not as old as this guy. Doc Martin represents just, I mean, culture, I mean, definitely has a strong tie with music. I mean, especially in hardcore, punk, boy, and I mean, even rap now. I mean, you can see rappers wearing them. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just got that, that bold, it's a bold statement, you know, it's just a bold look, you know. First pair of Doc Wands I got, I remember actually wearing them to school and just like coming home, my feet would kill me. But like after a while, you work them in, work them in, and then like just never take them off. Because they were like a party, you know? And it's just like something you know, we still wear them to this day. You know? Yeah, my first pair was like way long ago and uh, they were hard to come to uh, by in America. And now I'm sitting here like in Dr. Martin, like, you know, trailer, like, you know, and talking about it. It's like, because not many places carried the uh, Dr. Martin shoes, you know? It's part of the culture, just like hardcore, you know? So that's pretty cool. Agnostic Front was, you know, they, that was their logo. The, um, yeah, Dr. True. Boots. Right. Yeah, that was like right. their branded thing and just, uh... Yeah, if any band, Agnostic Front and Dr. Martin, 
Yeah, it's like hand in glove. Yeah, I mean, I really think they, they, the agnostic front really made Doc Martin boots popular within the hardcore scene. You know, and like, I mean, they were the first, one of the first American skin advance. Yeah. Well, thank you very thank much, you. everybody. Thank you, Dr. Thank Martin. You. Thanks for the festival. Thank uh, you for all the years, you know, and hardcore lives. <laughs>